Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my seed sprouter. Uh, he already have cut some paper, wet it, and uh, ready for the tray. I have some beets, some artichoke, some uh, daikon seeds here, and this put it back where it's supposed to be, uh, and some uh, cherry bell radish. Making a little room for my uh, gooseberry or ground cherry. Got my uh, water reservoir ready. Uh, put the tray on and uh, the the cover. Put the tube and the spinner. Close the lid. Turn it on, and I use winter option, which is give me warm water. The water is kind of tough, and it's kicking the seeds around, so. I was kind of moving it back uh, and hopefully um, it stays. I put another layer on with some, a little bit of paper. Hopefully the water will drop straight down instead of splashing it all over. But at the end, it doesn't matter. It's okay, in my opinion. <laughs> so that is it. That's all you gotta do. This is um, about 12 hours. Just went ahead and add me. I forgot to add some kohlrabi. But it looks like the radish is <laughs> already sprouted. And the, um, the daikon. So I'm going to give these about another few hours. Maybe at lunchtime today. It's right now like 9.30. So about lunch or one or two, I'll put them out when the weather's nice. Um, I don't expect these, especially these gooseberry. I'm trying to propagate or sprout these gooseberry for so long. I stick these in the oven for so long and it doesn't work um, as fast. It doesn't sprout as fast as I want it to be. It's supposed to be an invasive species of, of, of some sort but for some reason is not doing as I want it to be doing as fast so these are the gooseberry gooseberry oh, I want I miss my gooseberry I grow up picking gooseberry from the wild and um, some gooseberry that's so yummy and juicy and last year I propagated like nine artichoke and they all uh, did well I had a few bushes outside so this year I mean the seed the longer the seeds you uh, you leave it and you know you're not growing them after a few seasons they're not viable anymore so I I went ahead and let's go ahead and do a, a bunch of them I don't know what to do with the rest of them, but um, it's already stopped to split. So I just picked this one up. So by tomorrow, this one should be sprouted. And um, I love this uh, sprouter thing. And the beet, um, I don't see any sign yet. Maybe it just got rehydrated. Maybe tomorrow. So like a day. <laughs> If you want to grow these, just like wait, you know, prepare the next day and they are ready. And I'm going to start putting them out uh, into the garden soon. That way I got a little bit more organized and at least the, you know, the folks outside, the predator, <laughs> are not going to steal my seeds because I have a lot of birds outside. So kohlrabi i'm excited about kohlrabis i guess i'm excited about anything i grow because i grow things i like to eat and um that's a lot of kohlrabis i mean kohlrabi is a big plant so well more better have more than less um because i'm not gonna be able to use all the the seeds so let's see that be back it's been a day and the kohlrabi is already uh, sprouted. I'm gonna go ahead and check these out. Okay, this is beet. 
This is sunflower. This is um, gooseberry. This is radish. Uh, bell. Cherry bell radish. And this is uh, daikon. So everything sprouted. Even the, uh, not, this is not sunflower. This is the artichoke. Even the artichokes want to sprout. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out there and stick them in the ground. Except this um, gooseberry. It don't look like it's sprouted at all. But it's okay. So this is awesome to sprout your uh, your seedlings. You know, it's only take me a day to have these sprout, and I can go ahead and transplant them outside. So uh, this year, I just, well actually I started uh, last year, last fall, to have a strip of container on this side of the house. Um, it's not as hot, but it's got an afternoon sun. It's pretty hot. I plan to, to grow something in here um, to expand my growing area. So far, I already have some mints over there. Some mint, um, some more mint, peppermint, not peppermint, yeah, it's peppermint. Um, uh, fish mint, they're sleeping right now, weed, grass, um, sorrel, purple, super sour, super good. Uh, some garlic chives, some onions from seeds, this, and a lot of cilantro, mustard green. Uh, radish, yeah, a lot of radishes, and uh, Chinese uh, celery. So they're all looking good. I, all right, I still have four left here, and a little pot. Um, I make a little trench. Uh, th three of them. So just um, lick it up a little bit. And use my handy dandy. Um, I have a lot sprouted. I should have took it out earlier or yesterday or you know early in this morning. But I had so many things going on to um, to do this morning, and uh, I had so many things that I want to do. So, <laughs> anyways, um, didn't get to this on time or it's probably longer than I would have liked. I kind of like it to be like that. Kind of like just sticking out, but oh well. So I have a lot. Um, you know, you can space them out as far as you like. I'm just gonna stick them in here as much as I can because I don't have a lot of room. And that's probably about half an inch. And slightly Cover it up. So I forgot to tell you the reason why I um, put these in here in the bin. I could have just put them straight directly in the soil, uh, but uh, since this is like right next to the house, and I am thinking um, in the future year or maybe this year, we're gonna have um, to have our termite service. Coming, so I just want to be able to just pick these up or more like drag about <laughs> not really picking them up but um, yeah I just want to be able to easily move these around uh, if I need to like if you know there's something that needs to be done to the house I need to climb up on the ladder or whatever I can just move these out easily and not having to worry about my plane got damaged that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this seed sprouter video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you think it is helpful, you like this video. I have a video on this uh, seed sprouter that I use to uh, sprout mung beans. If you're interested, uh, check out my garden playlist. I have a lot of stuff in there. I hope you check it out and a lot of authentic cooking videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for future Vietnamese Asian home cook, gardening and much more. And bye bye.